YouTube, well, what's... Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Because you'll, like, put X's next to the one we want to talk no, about. No, 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 and no, then no, we'll no, name no. them off at the end. No, no, no. After we talk about them, put an X so we know we've talked about that game. Oh, okay. That's... Yep, sure. All right. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, take two. YouTube, what's good? See you later, gaming here, and welcome back to the Game Lounge podcast with our E3 wrap up for 2018. Big episode, lots of lots to cover again. Uh, so if you guys want to catch us a day early, you can do so now on Anchor, SoundCloud, Stitcher, TuneIn, iTunes, fucking everywhere. Get over it, get around it, whatever you decide to do. You or catch us on YouTube.com forward slash see gaming. Well, and with me today, as usual, are my co-hosts, Brayden and Jordy. Can I get your opening statement, Jordy? Um, I'd like to thank Dead Island 2 for not making a reappearance. Thank you. Thank you. Brayden, can I get an opening statement? <laughs> Very good. Uh, Very good. Smash. And uh, my opening statement is, thank you, Sony, for 15 minutes of music and panels. Man, they had to move conference. I know, I know. Terrible, yeah. terrible. Uh, so you guys know what we've been playing this month. Uh, so let's just get right into what you guys came for. It's the E3 announcements and what was revealed. Uh, so we're just going to do it in order of when they had their press conference. So let's kick it off with EA. Uh, so EA starting off had a Battlefield 5 multiplayer reveal, uh, showcasing the Frostbite engine and what it can do as usual. Uh, also announced a Battle Royale mode for it, uh, FIFA Hell 19 yeah. Champions League license confirmed, uh, so got a different, I think that's the European League or something, yeah, I don't know. It, it's like similar to, you know, the NBA yeah. League that they do, yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah, uh, Origin Access Premiere, so where you can get the entire library of EA games plus some other publishers, as Andrew was so proud to say fuck i love andrew like the ceo of ea but shit company um <laughs> star wars fallen order revealed by respawn unraveled 2 sea of solitude anthem got a release date and a story trailer uh, and command and conquer rivals coming to mobile what do we think yeah, about yeah. these announcements what are we excited for what are we unraveled Unravel 2, two. Le- legit though i'm being serious i think ea was shit this year oh no it was absolutely terrible <laughs> like, like i don't know why they had a press conference yeah look I, no i don't even care about anthem like literally it's just like oh unravel 2 that's cute and yep. then the rest of it was like well this is garbage yeah pretty much <laughs> yanni 2 how do you feel about that alex yanni 2 <sighs> yeah next story <laughs> <laughs> very good very good i just like how they announced sea of solitude even after they saw the flop of sea of thieves <laughs> no that no no no, no wait no, the, uh, different game i'm, I'm more keen for no? sea of solitude there's a, it's a different pirate game i'm more keen for oh, okay. oh I, I know what you're know. talking about yeah, yeah, much yeah. that one actually looks good mm-hmm. no this one's like a horror game it's meant to be like a horror game sea of solitude We'll see. <laughs> what do you mean we'll see? It looks like... We'll see. It, it, it's nothing to do with being a pirate. To be honest, it, it, I didn't see it. I just read the I, words. I, 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 I 100% know. It's, it's, about, um, it's, it's a game of anxiety and depression. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's look it's it up girl, right now. It's on a, a it's girl a girl. boat and she's like roaming around. <laughs> And she's like all, she's like real dumb. Yeah. But Very interesting. It's about facing those two things. It's, yeah, interesting. So has the concepts of horror in it. So, okay. yeah. It was very, like, the one thing on that list I'm actually interested about is the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. But it had the most, like, cringy reveal ever. It was just this Sounds dude. Uh, like, the chick goes up, interviews him and says... So, we've got a guy from Respawn here. Woo! And everyone's just like, fake cheers. And she's like, oh, so we're getting a Star Wars game. And he's like, yes. You can play, <laughs> yes. You can play with a lightsaber. And everyone's like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and that was, whoa, the, rev- whoa, that was, that whoa. was the reveal. 
that was the reveal. And they were like, oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. And I was like, yes, you're welcome. Hell yeah. <laughs> Honestly, so, you need to look it up. Cringiest thing ever. But that's I think what that, I like to see. That is the one good thing that we always get out of every press conference at E3 is some good cringe. Yeah, absolutely. That was, that was not the only cringe we saw. Oh, the whole no, thing. Not, that's for sure. Definitely it not. Better. It does better or worse. Both at Both. the same time. <laughs> um, anyone, anything else anyone was keen for? Hell like, no. I, I, I no. understand like <laughs> Anthem's meant to be like their next big game, and that's kind of what they're pushing towards. Yeah. But it, uh, I, I thought like the flying mechanic looked pretty cool. Everyone's in like a mech suit. Yep. But. I don't know. I need to actually see, you know, mm. the story trailer. You, you saw them fly around, kill a couple of things, and then you saw a big spider. Yeah. Like, you didn't really show me any story or where, where, where this game is leading. Mm. Yeah. So, Can't um, really I'm, say much. I'm, like, I'm not super interested in it yet. You need to show me more. Yeah. yeah. Like, if put it this way if it's the size of a Mass Effect game, I'm in. If it's the size of a Destiny 2, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is fair. Um, so, so no, one cares about, no one cares about Battle, Battlefront? Hell no. Uh, no. Hell no. Well, they, they announced some uh, new Star Wars characters based on the Han Solo movie, as predicted. Uh, mm -hmm. But they're not coming out for another two months. So everyone was kind of like, oh. A mega lol. And, that, and everyone was just kind of like, oh, oh cool it should have been out really... the release date of the movie yeah that's what i was gonna say i kind of missed the timing on that one yeah and command, you, you and, know, conquer. command and conquer the mobile game yeah that was so it looked, sad it actually looks so bad I'm it not... was sad dude watching them release that i was oh. like oh this is command and conquer dude, this of, is what of it the... is now of the 60 people that are still in the command and conquer subreddit god bless you people <laughs> good luck friends <laughs> you never get another one of those games. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, yeah so I, I'm going to say right now, this is probably the weakest. Probably the worst oh, this is the worst. This is yeah. the worst one. This is by far the worst one. Definitely. It's not even close. So, out of 10, what are we giving it? <laughs> like one for Yanni. One? Uh, I, 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 I'll give it a three for potential. I'll give it a two for cringe. Very good. <laughs> like right now, Yanni ha has. As a two by itself, and then <laughs> yeah. Anthem, if it, Anthem, if it can produce, yeah, brings it to, could bring it to a four, but it's at a three because it's for absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and I, I actually do think Sea of Solitude could actually be a decent game as well. All right. mm. We'll see. Mm. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah, pray for them. Uh, next up was Microsoft. <laughs> so this, this is the start of the actual good press conferences. Uh, so Halo Infinite <laughs> was announced. Uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, revealed from by so from Software. Uh, new Ori and the Will of the Wisps got a gameplay trailer. New Crackdown 3 trailer. Nair Automata, mm -hmm. I think I said that right, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Going to the Xbox. Yeah, he actually got it. He's done it. He's done it. After three Nail podcasts. Automata. Nail Automata. <laughs> Nailed it after three podcasts. <laughs> He's done it. Uh, Metro Exodus gets a gameplay trailer. Forza Horizon 4 reveal and release date. Uh, Microsoft acquires five game studios, Tales Yikes. of Vesperia, Definitive Edition, announced PUBG, new map revealed, Session announced for Xbox Store, Black Desert Online announced for Xbox One, Jump Force was revealed, Gears of War 5 was announced, uh, Dying Light 2 gameplay footage, Gears Tactics announced for PC, Next Xbox Console announced, and Cyberpunk 2077 trailer yeah, was boy. revealed. <laughs> So, decent list here with some pretty good games on that list. Uh, what are we thinking? I'm thinking. All right, I'll I'll go through mine first. That I'm excited for. Yeah. The the Halo I'm kind of excited for because it looks like old Master Chief and old Marines. So I don't know what's going on there, and we're back on the ring. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, Sekiro. Yep. I like the idea of Dark Souls with a grappling hook. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ori, the new Ori game looks incredible. Yep. Um, don't give a fuck about Crackdown. Get out of here. Metro <laughs> they brought, but they brought Terry Crews back, just like no, you I said. No, I don't. I, yeah, I know, but I don't care. <laughs> anyway, uh, Metro. Yeah, I just want that game. That game looks so good. Um, yeah. Don't give a fuck about Forza. Don't give a fuck about Five Studios. Hey, hey, I called Forza though. I, I did call Forza. 
You did. Um, ju- Jump Force looks good for Weebs, but unfortunately, I'm not into that type <laughs> of thing. Uh, Dying Light 2, I'm very much looking forward to. And Cyberpunk 2077. What an incredible trailer. <laughs> yeah, after waiting almost... I thought it was longer, but it's only been five years since yes. they announced it. Yes. Like, that's crazy. I thought it was, it was way it's longer. Been, it's been in production for seven, though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so expecting... I'm, of I'm, this. I'm, of I'm, this. I'm, Cyberpunk. I'm just not, in, I'm not interested in Cyberpunk in the slightest. I'm just hoping Cyberpunk doesn't fall down the uh, Last Guardian hole. No, it's not. No, it doesn't look like it, but, you know. People, people, got, shown, uh, um, people got shown an hour uh, gameplay behind the scenes. Mm. Yeah, a, a, a lot of uh, games, like, afterwards, they showed a lot of footage of different games. It's, yeah. Like, just going on YouTube right now and just looking up. From E3, this after the press conferences, there's like heaps of footage for all these games now. Yeah, yeah it's good. Uh, for me, mm. uh, Ori, the yep. jumping, it's it, they're making it look so much so fluid, like because mm-hmm. it's all the things and like attack mechanics. Yep, it looks really good. Um, mm-hmm. um the little owl, oh, the cute little owl. Mm. <laughs> um. Yeah, what else am I excited for? Jump Force. I am excited. For <laughs> Man, I can I can hit Naruto against Goku. Against Let's Luffy. Let's go. And Luffy. 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 Why is it Luffy? Luffy? Always Luffy. have. Always have. He he he, he likes to trigger people. <laughs> uh, the other thing I heard for Dying Light Two, the the writers for that were from Witcher Three. Mm. So. It and would... and also from um, Fallout New Vegas, it's Chris Avalon. So it should be a decent story. Yeah, yeah I know. I like the first one. The yeah. first one was fun, but it didn't have. A so I feel like story. this one should have a good story. Um, and the whole new decisions decision tree that will impact yeah. different outcomes. Yeah, look, look. Let me let me be real with you. Every <laughs> time they bring this up at E3, like the choices you make will affect the world, and then you get in game, and then you, you like you can do like three people. things. Yeah. Like, you do, like, three things, and it's, like, you have an option of good, neutral, or bad, and that's it. Infamous Not hundreds. Baby. Infamous. <laughs> Not hundreds. But that's I, 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 I was playing, like, Witcher the other day, and I was, like, trying to explain this to someone yesterday, um, the whole concept of, like, choices. I'm, yeah, like, yeah, so I had a choice of, I, I, I had this person, like, I went to save, and I'm, like, well, my three choices were kill the people, give or you know try and talk talk about it like you're killing them you're paying them off or you're probably going to still fight them yeah like absolutely yeah yeah i mean we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see also mm-hmm. uh sakira does also looks like a pretty good game like mm-hmm. uh, the other mm-hmm. actually looks pretty good mm-hmm. absolutely yep that I, i'd be more interested in that than cyberpunk yeah, that's the Sekiro. That's the one you were talking about, Jordy. That you thought was the Sony one. Uh there's the the one Sushi. Oh, Sushi Mark. yeah. There's three samurai games this there year. Is. <laughs> it's insane, and they, and they all look... look good. And they all look good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the year of the samurai boys. I'm pretty... <laughs> Showed you that, and he was just like jizz everywhere. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> it was like finally the year I get the one I deserve. So, and this is the one what's kind of like Dark Souls. Yes. This is, well, yeah. The yeah. same dude who made Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's 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 meant to be similar, but it's not meant to be like full like Dark Souls. Hub. No, it's like oh no, it is. It's yeah. got like verticality now though from the grapple hook, mm-hmm. so it's gonna be like Dark Souls on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Alex, I think from you... my list, definitely Ori. Uh, mm. Like, I was keen for the first one. Remember that? I was like, told you guys to jump wait, on that. Wait, wait, wait. Did you ever play it? I did. Oh, yeah. oh my God. He I played did. a game. He I did. Amazing. Game. Amazing. <laughs> um, and definitely uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, <laughs> that was like the one that i've kind of been waiting for for a bit now now that we've seen the trailer looks fucking sick i just can't wait to play it it's gonna be in first person that's an interesting thing yeah i was thinking that'd be more like a third person type game but interesting interesting Nah, i kind of like the idea of it being first person yeah 
Yeah, I think it's going to be, like, real nice and immersive. Like, especially if you have, like, a really crazy computer. I can only imagine what that game would look like just altered out on everything. <laughs> yep. Um, and I guess something interesting, like, the two other things that were interesting on this list was that one of them being Microsoft acquiring five game studios. Like, I tell you, what's the, the Undead Labs, the company that does State of Decay 2? They've, mm. been, they've only been published on Microsoft platforms. And I was like, how can you only announce this now? I thought it had been like an obvious thing that half of the developers that they've got were only Microsoft companies because they only published for Microsoft, but now Microsoft's acquired them. Right. Mm -hmm. So like three of the three of the five, all the games they've released so far have been exclusively published on Microsoft. So seems good. Hmm. Well, apart from Cuphead. Yeah, boy. Yeah, and that, there's a new one of that, a uh, new DLC for that at least. So yeah, yeah. Which I totally forgot to write on that list. But... With Miss Mughead. Yes. With Miss. And new bosses. And new bosses. Yes. Yep. Um, and the other yeah. interesting thing was that uh, Phil Spencer. Spencer. Yep. Yes. Uh, announced that a new Xbox console was being was in development. It, it, he said that that was like such a sly thing he said that no one really cared like no one really caught on to it no one picked it and i was just like i was no. watching it and i was like what the fuck did he just say that and i re, -re, -re no, it. no he because he, he wasn't he talking about uh like oh he was talking about sales there was, no there was a word he said that i forgot Is, isn't it always just like of course though isn't yeah. it always just like an of course thing Thing. like <laughs> they, they, yeah. they should always be thinking about the next console and they yeah. would always be yeah it, it'd be like if you went up to sony like direct and be like hey you wouldn't happen to be like working on your next like console would yeah. you like, of, like course of course they'd be like, yeah of course they'd be like well yeah we're like you know we're like designing and everything of mm. course it's such an of course thing yeah because <laughs> it's like as soon as a playstation 4 was announced wait, they've wait. probably worked on the ps4 pro like put a small team on that and then put like another team working on the ps5 it's, it's going to be exactly the thing same thing as we're going to talk about from bethesda with some of their games of Absolutely. course, they're, they're, of course yeah. they're yes. working on it of mm. course yeah. they're working on it. <laughs> that is telling you now so you can shut the yeah up. that's exactly yeah Exactly how I feel about that whole situation. <laughs> yeah, just oh, interesting to hear it, that. It, it just, it, it's just to stop people. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, it's, you know, are, they, are you doing it? Are you doing it? Yes, we're doing it. And then I'm like, okay. Yeah. All right. We'll tell exactly. you in three years. Yeah, pretty much. So, All right. big, big list here. And potentially one of the best press conferences, I think. You forgot uh, one. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So starting off the list we got rage 2 gameplay trailer revealed uh elder strolls legends coming to consoles wolfenstein youngblood announced uh prey moon crash dlc revealed doom 2 but eternal. Not doom. It's, it's, it's called eternal it's to eternal doom ah, it. yes doom eternal but i did remember that uh fallout 70 was gameplay. like it's doom 2 it's doom 2 no well it is it's they said it's a sequel but anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, but it's not 2 but not yeah, okay <laughs> well i mean doom 2 doom 2's old this is doom, yeah. doom 2 new doom 2 yeah that's why you definitely can't call it doom 2 mm. uh fallout 76 gameplay and details revealed uh fallout shelter coming to the switch and ps4 shaded go, xbox baby. one or go uh, baby uh starfield teaser trailer revealed elder scrolls 6 announced skyrim very special edition announced that 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 shit was uh, in the uh, detoxing, shall we? Number one, please <laughs> don't let developers talk on stage. <laughs> I beg you, Bethesda, don't let anyone besides Uncle Pete and Todd Howard talk on stage. It's a nightmare. Yeah. The people are so cringy; it's unbelievable. Oh, look right. at look at this tall guy. He's oh, tall. Yeah, like, <laughs> and it, it, as you can see, it's going to be pretty big. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, kill me now. And then he played it up for like the next two minutes. Yeah, and yeah, like, all right. And then pointed to him like, yeah, we got to hear the tall person. Let's, let's, let's move along. All right, Rage 2. Uh, yeah, yeah, eh. Um, Elder Scrolls Legends coming to consoles. Congratulations, plebs, you're welcome. Um, Wolfenstein Youngblood, hell yeah. That shit will be great. Um, Prey, Moon Crash, don't really give a fuck. Doom Eternal, hell yeah. 
uh, Fallout 76. Interested. Highly interested. <laughs> kind of excited, honestly. Um, uh, uh, to the point where he's already pre-ordered. Absolutely. Um, I'm interested the, the to... S- absolutely. absolutely. So, um... <laughs> I'm excited to see the shitstorm that this game is going to be on release because I got a feeling it's going to be like the the Fallout community is going to be real mad or they're going to be real happy about it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think I I think it's not going to be an in between. I don't think it's going to be too bad. No, I don't think it's going to be bad either. I think the Fallout community is just worried because they're like, "What if it never goes back to single player?" And it's like, "Of course it will. Of course. What are you people talking about? Of course it'll go back." They literally were like. They literally. By, by the, I watched the whole no clip documentary on the making of it, and they were like, "This was the multiplayer component they wanted to have for four, But then they're like, "No, they would want a single player game." But hey, why don't we just make this as its own thing to see, like, what's what we could yeah. do with this? And then yeah. like all like the off off ones, so they'll be like Fallout Five, that's single player. Then Fallout, yeah. you know, whatever thirteen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I'm not even worried to be honest. I know why. I can see why people are, but I'm like, eh. And it's the I'm whole excited. thing of how you're talking about where you you really didn't want the world to be flooded with people, mm. and yeah. how they said, "Oh, there's gonna be so many." So, like, okay, there might be like thirty people. That. So yeah, they're, they're still the they're, they're, they're still changing the number. They're like they think it's either gonna be twenty four or thirty two. Yeah, I think the lower number would be better. Probably, yeah, like personally, um, less people. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll it'll be interesting. I mean, you know, it's Todd's mantra: like you can't make games by not playing them. Like, so they're like play testing and they're like changing it on the fly, like all the time. They're like, you know, how often do we want these people to like interact with each other? And apparently, on the map, you can see where people are. Mm-hmm. Like, so you can like go to them and like trade or like help with like a big raid or whatever. And after watching the documentary. And just reading the comments of the documentary of the making of Fallout 76, everyone in there was like, I feel a lot better about this game. Mm. They're like, I feel a lot better about this. And like the the way everything works and like how many new like monsters there are and like what the like oh, late game end game <laughs> stuff is. Yeah. Like, because they were talking about the nukes, right? And yep. people were like, mm. why would you put nukes in your map? That's ridiculous. But like, <laughs> that's like so late game. It's, yeah. like, actually crazy, apparently. Like, like when you drop a nuke, it, like, creates, like, a high-level, like, instance, like a zone for you, you and your friends to go to. Like, that is, like, super late game. It has, like, really rare materials or, like, objects and stuff that you, like, want. Can see some so, low levels trying to run in there and just fucking poach shit, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, like, I'm, I'm not even worried about this game. Um, yeah. Starfield, of course... I don't even know why they had the show. They should have just done the thing where it's like, you know, it's coming out in seven months. They didn't even need to show the trailer. And of course, they've said it for two years that they're making Elder Scrolls 6. Like, they said it like, of course we're making it. Like, they said that ages ago. They're like, of course. It's in pre-production, you know? We haven't started it. Of course we're going to make another Elder Scrolls. But then, oh my god, the fan base sometimes is just too much. They're just too much. It's just like, (laughs) of course they're making it. And then just to shut everyone up, I'm like, thank you. Even I'm saying thank you, Bethesda, for putting out this trailer that's such a (laughs) non-trailer. Because Uh, The the funny thing was, people are best game, best game announcement already. You know nothing about it. It's not going to come out for two years. Yeah. What? Two years? You people are crazy. No, you people are crazy. No way. You people are crazy. It's like four. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there's, there's no way. He, Todd's like, yeah, the technology's not quite there yet. Still, give me PlayStation Five. It's yeah, launch it'll, 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 come it'll, That'll it'll, be like the release title for Xbox Five. You got to back up from the mic, Jordy. You're too loud. Yeah, you be hell loud. no. You've you're been ruled out for you're a little peaking. bit. <laughs> Soon as Bethesda came up, peak. I'm Dude, watching my levels and just seeing peaks, man. Dude, you're peaking. You were. Uh, uh, I, I was gonna say something, but yeah. Soon All as right. Bethesda came along, peeking. peeking. Good, good. <laughs> People need to hear me peeking. Yeah. All right. So, and obviously the best announcement that we got was Skyrim very special edition. Oh, Go that, get it now that, on your Alexas. Thank you. That ad, best thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think like and bringing Michael Key uh, in there was yeah. like the best idea ever. He's very funny, and he, he I think good. he made that trailer. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Do you reckon they they sort of just gave him? creative will on that um 
they were like, this is the concept. He would have had what you can do. Like he, they would have, they would have free balled things. Like they would have mm. just improved a couple of things because he, of course, you'd know what Skyrim is. Yeah. So you know, would yeah. he? I, I mean, come on. Well, I mean, we'd hope so. <laughs> you get someone to promote a product, you hope they know the product. Mm, or you could just be an actor getting paid. It's true. He's. I'm gonna say he will know Skyrim. Yeah, I will assume so too. <laughs> anyway, you guys go for your life. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you yeah. take it, Braden. For that seven six, I'm also quite keen for. I'm mm-hmm. definitely gonna get that. I already, I already got my shelter on my Switch. I got yeah. it for PS4. You know, I, even though I've played it on my phone already, I cracked it on there. Yep. Um. The oh the the Legends the mobile game, the Elder Scrolls mobile game, mm-hmm. that actually looks pretty good. We didn't really talk no, go, we didn't. too much into that. And it's um, coming to like Pixel VR as well. Yeah, it's gonna. It's meant to come on like consoles as well. Yeah, as like this, you know, like standalone thing. And I think it's gonna be. It's gonna kill your phone. It's gonna murder your phone. Oh yeah, processing you, and you, battery is going out the window. You, 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 oh you, hell yeah! You need, I'm really excited for that. You need. Well, you need to be getting that top of line new phone for this game. Yeah. Otherwise, um, you, you, you thought Snapchat was killing your phone? Mm-hmm. Nah. Apparently, it's, it's coming yet. to everything though. Yeah, that's what Apparently. I said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like console, right. PC, phone. Yeah. Very cool. It, yeah, but like, it's going to come to, I, I think it will come to the phone first. Oh, yeah. And then, then yeah. it will release slowly to everything else, like it, how full that shoulder is done. Yeah. yeah. Blades, it, like, but but they, they saw how much money yeah, that made blades. them. So that is what Yeah, it, it has more, more downloads than any other game they've ever had in their entire history put together. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, it was like 143 million people or something. Or it is a free game on a phone. I know. It's quite but... nice. <laughs> and, yeah, um, and free on console too, which is yeah, which is sick. Um, and you, Rage you two. For that Elder oh. Scrolls Legends. Right? Uh, no. I'm not. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. Um. The yeah. Rage two. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I feel like it's just like. It felt like just another game they were announcing. Yeah. Like, it didn't yeah. feel special in any way to me. Yeah, it like, just it feels is... like another game. That's a good yeah. way to put it. That, yeah. like, it like, if they, annou- they they say they announced, like, 10 games, like, okay, let's uh, let's go back to, like, the Microsoft, Microsoft thing. Like, there's some game, really interesting games there. And then another game, to me, in all of that, is, like, Gears of War 5. It's just another game. It's a big title. But it's just another game. Mm. Yep. See, the thing is, I actually, I actually don't like that they're throwing all this color around. I really like the first Rage, but I like it because it's like a gritty, like post-apocalyptic. Now they're like, it's colorful and vibrant. And I'm like, uh, I don't really care yeah. <laughs> for that much color in my post-apocalyptic games <laughs> I, I, I have one friend that's the game he's most keen about and i was like what interesting of all the games that's the one i was very confused i was keen until i saw oh, how, I... Bad, how bad was the ad inside of the game oh my god <laughs> oh it was of like the it was like www.rage.com you get if you order special edition you get like this notable head yeah you get oh, the mutant head that yeah, uh, yeah, sings yeah. too yeah. oh my god very good it was that was cringy yeah look wasn't the best idea considering there was no way that tv was even plugged in because they're out on a balcony but anyway hey, how do you know? uh because i went back and rewatched the trailer and there was no cord going through it it's battery powered <laughs> nerds easy money. easy money battery powered <laughs> nerds dude i'd and trade then, that game for a pack of nerds and then oh 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 pray with pray the um uh what's it called uh hunter the, 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 the m- mode yeah, yeah the mimic mode yeah prop hunt prey yes yeah. yes yeah. let's, let's 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 go by prey just play prop hunt how bad yeah, do no. you think gary newman is right now he's just like still, uh, still, not, in, my, still not, in my game still not, in my modes not not very mad because he's his game is based off every other valve game to work so probably not that mad Fair. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's quite old now, and you know he's he's probably made and, enough, enough money. And people off it. like Rust now for some reason, so yeah. you know, I think he's fine actually. 
Yeah, he's probably good. made enough money. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. Um. I mean, for then, me on for me on that. Yeah. Oh wait, are you done? Or... No, no. Oh, oh, I was kind of just going through the games because I actually thought, uh, like, even like Wolfenstein Two, like the the double, like this co-op, mm. that, that sounds really cool. Like, yeah, uh, that's cool. most of these games actually. I think they're going to be good, even if they are just DLC or something like that. I think, yeah. like, I think Bethesda did a really good job. So do I. Yeah, besides the cringe. The yeah. cringe was yeah. absolutely insane towards the, the start. You had to duck and weave. You had to duck and weave. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think I think the roster was good. Yeah. I think it was it was way better than last year's. Thank Wait, God. Wait, you know, there's a quote I want to remember. You just talk and I'll, and I'll bring it up in a sec. Yeah. The map glows in the fuck. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. The map glows and, and it glows in the fucking dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the I way he like... said it too, I was just like, oh. <laughs> I was like, dude, thank God for Todd Howard. This this shit would have been an absolute shit show. I, but I agree. If they'd left like the developers out and they'd just had Pete and Todd speak, best or like, best one. Or, Easy. or just hire someone who can speak well. Yeah. Like, eh, like don't put developers up there. They get all nervous and weird, and it's just yeah. not good. Like, like we remember what happened with Yanni. <laughs> Hey! 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 How dare you? He he pulled his heart out. That was different. That so was did that man record. on the rage talk. No, he no, pulled he his heart out. He was like a what? treasure. You leave that man alone. Yeah, leave that man alone. <laughs> anyway, so how do you feel about lights. these, Alex? What do you it, what do you think about the games individually? You know, like I was interested in Rage Two because, like, I'm fine with like the whole uh, Neo. Uh, what do you the, the the punk apocalypse yeah neo like the punk apocalypse eight eight eighties apocalypse yeah exactly much, yeah. like i like that idea of it and like the color was not too bad but yeah as brayden said it just looks like another game like i yeah. played i could reskin well, mad it, max it, and I, that's the game yeah i was gonna say the exact same it, it, it feels like a mad max cross it's, of like just any random powers shit. and yeah. like the yeah. powers that they showed are just so normal it's yeah. just like yeah. force push like jump to the ground like, yeah it's like I, I come don't get on, it. Guys. you gotta reveal powers like reveal something good or something that hasn't been seen before uh, yeah like i don't know like have a power like fucking random orbs appear on you and they sh like out of nowhere these portals like fucking 10 lmgs come out and just start exactly like, spraying bullets or something like God, j mm. like, powers need to be like looked at it in a creative <laughs> sense again. I think because people, it's fr it's going to yeah. occur right now. <laughs> and like Bethesda are known for out there sort of shit. Like you know, I'm um, like random idea pulls his dick out and he's got a laser beam. <laughs> like, <laughs> like no one does this in video games. Just fucking whip your dick out, laser beam the heads off people. You know, just. N nipple beams exactly I, I, i'd argue that gearbox does that better than bethesda yeah but, but like come on there's there's so many things that yeah. haven't been done and it's like yeah, I know. yeah it's trying to be that edgy like teenager mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> but that no one wants to talk to <laughs> exactly. exactly except my one friend <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's why they're friends exactly exactly it's your friend too jordy <laughs> is it who, who is it kiwi ah kiwi mm. he's done it good lord the first thing he <laughs> asked me rage 2 <laughs> oh my oh but hey hey, hey. what you you, you you forgot another game quake thing on quake quake dads i left Re it out for a reason <laughs> quake, dads. Dads. quake dads yes that was the quote quake dads, quake dads. i, I left it out for a that. reason like, let, i just spammed that in Brayden when dads, it came up yeah. and let's get good that's what, yeah. exactly what he said oh the my young God, ones my God. the quake dads let's get, get good. good and i was like, quake like dads? Let's get... <laughs> the other great quote from that was like <laughs> let's hear it for quake con guys and he claps and <laughs> yeah he claps. yeah that dude was clapping let's himself for a lot con. He was clapping himself a lot. It was, it was sad. ridiculous. And now it is free for the whole week, and he just claps himself. And he's clapping it right now. It. It's free forever. Oh! Yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> Very good. Oh. All right. Well, what, all right. What are we rating? Bethesda? Look, I'll give it 
Look, if I'm comparing it to last year, it's at least an eight. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a good press conference. I think it's uh, yeah. Like, the, the games are very solid. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go with eight as well. I'll go eight because right. I think yeah, right. good, sh great showing. Mm -hmm. No cringe, and you got a you got an almost perfect. Yeah, score I mean, there. yeah. The, the, the cringe dropped it. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I, I feel like Quake everything... dance, Quake dance. <laughs> Don't show Quake. Just push it <laughs> under the rug. Just say, get it. <laughs> No, uh, actually, wait, I can't bring up my actual favorite moment of the Bethesda conference. Yes. The dude who comes out for Elder Scrolls Online, you guys, and I've been playing with you guys oh my in God. game, <laughs> and it's been real nice. Uh, can't wait to see you guys in there and, and see you in Tamriel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, dude, let's see ya. Like, he, he was, he was, hey, he tried. He, 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 he did better than... Absolutely. He, he was less he, he actually, he, he actually did all right. Yeah. Because I feel like he's actually played the game when he's oh, he, he got yeah. the he, he plays it every it. night. Like, he actually yes. he plays it every he night. Go, he goes home and he plays it every night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. God bless him. <laughs> right. Next one. <laughs> Another. Right. So, next up is the PC gaming show. So, this is just a bit of a mix of everything. Uh, the Forgotten City trailer was revealed. Satisfactory. Looks like No Man's Sky developed by Goat Simulator Team. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Yakuza 0 and Yakuza Kiwami Hell coming to PC. Hell yeah. Maneater, an open world RPG where you play as a shark. Braden, we're playing that for Shark Week. Okay. Oh, that's made by, that's made by Tripwire. Mm -hmm. Who made uh, Killing Floor 2 and Killing Floor 1. Okay, if I'm honest, before we go through, there is, this is the one conference I actually haven't watched yet. I got, I watched the first game and then something came up and I just forgot about watching the rest of it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be looking through the games right now while you're talking. Uh, so, so I'll go, I'll go last. Uh, Killing Floor 2 Treacherous Skies introduces an airship. Oh, pardon me. Sable is a beautiful adventure inspired by Studio Ghibli. Uh, over what Overkills, uh, The Walking Dead release date announced. Two Point Hospital is a hilarious theme hospital spiritual successor, and Double Fine's Ooblets is a mix between Pokemon and Stardew Valley. Interesting. Actually, um, the one game I have I did get to see a bit on was the uh, Satisfactory. No, the Satisfactory, oh, Satisfactory game. Yeah. It, it, no, it doesn't. It's not meant to look like. The, uh, from what I saw, it was meant to be like. Um, it's a game I play called. Uh, it's called. Um, Wait one sec. Yeah. Oh, off world, off world trader kind of thing. Like you build, um, like a city, and then you build like things to produce resources for you. Yeah. But he, he said instead of doing the whole top down, you know, we build a city, mm -hmm. we build like all these components to create resources and all that. We wanted to do a first person version of that. Yeah. That's oh it yeah, is. that's ex it looks exactly like that. That's that's what he said in the press concert because this is actually the one thing I, I was watching and yeah that, that's what I, we're going for um uh, like an open world thing and like you would destroy like um like you start off by destroying a couple of trees and then you make like one thing where you can suck the water up and then you mm. build a big uh like station or whatever and all these things and that water can then can you know, get the next thing you can make iron and then you see the bars being made and then blah 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 like dude all the, the the factorio nerds are gonna love this yeah, shit. I, I, th this this is this game works for a certain niche like, absolutely this like, is a niche the, the, game the, the, yeah. this this is the type of thing we actually need though yeah i couldn't agree more niches work really well because i reckon i would like this game because i like these type of games because normally like the top down version now they're trying like that single player thing. I think it would be cool. Yeah. Like, the, the, I think you mean first person, not single player. So, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, because definitely. Not, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not single. Player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because so, um, that this is the reason. Like Rage Two, it just looks like every other game. It acts like every other game. This is different. This is a different niche. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. 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 Alright, someone else talk about a game. Other game world. Uh, I have a look at Overkills, The Walking Dead. Yep. And, and it looks exactly how I thought it'd look. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, does anyone care about The Walking Dead anymore? I mean, I'm interested. I'm interested. 
like when I was looking at it, it just looked like you know that really shit barrel yeah, thing. Yeah. That really, yeah, it just looked like that, but prettier. <laughs> but with <laughs> friends, I don't know. It really didn't look incredible. Yep. Um, Killing Floor Two update. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. the Yakuza coming to PC. Oh baby, that's yep. gonna be a good time. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. I'd probably say, out of that, I'm probably looking forward to Yakuza. I think coming to PC. Okay. Because those games are hilarious and, like, the best open world you'll ever, like, go in in your life. They're just so jam-packed with, like, the most random-ass minigames of all time. Yeah. <laughs> and they're great. The story's also really good and the combat's great, too. So, probably that. Hmm. Probably that for me. Okay. Um... I, I, just, I, I just looked at the, the uh, Double Fins Ooblets. Yeah. Uh... It uh it looks weird, interesting. Uh, I I don't I don't know how I feel about it. The you you grow these mm. characters. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it looks real weird. It looks mm-hmm. I don't know. It looks another little too, niche. Looks way too cartoony and like. It, it kind of reminds it kind of reminds me of like Katamari as well for some reason, huh? or like the one that one game where you like stack things. To, like yeah, build yeah. it up to like a new planet or whatever. Yeah. Oh, not grow home. No. And what? it ends oh, with no. like a hundred of these little plant things running at the girl. You're like, oh no. Mm-hmm. I yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's yeah. Like, it seems a little little out there for me. To be fair. Nice, nice art style. They got that kind no, of. No, that's the, that's the thing. I don't. I don't like that art style. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like one thing I, I'm actually I don't like. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, there's yes. not really much there from the uh, PC conference that I was interested in. Personally. Yeah, it's a it's a weak one. That's hmm. for sure. Yeah, it's it's just it's a lot of like this niche games. That's what it really is to be. And fair. a lot of updates. Yeah. It's mm. showing a lot of updates too. Yeah. Very true. Alright. What, what, what are we going to give it? Five. Uh, five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's I'll, I'll it's not it great and it's not weak either. I'll, I'll give it a four. Four? I've okay. just, I, I, I don't see too much there that I'm at, at, like interested in yep. in any way. Alright. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, all right, next up was Ubisoft. Uh, so this is the one Braden turned off as soon as he turned it on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because okay. I was like, "What the fuck is going on? Like, is this like pre-recorded?" It's what they, it's and what then... they do every year, man. How yeah, can but, you not expect it? Yeah. Uh, uh, for some reason, I was I'm like, "Why are you starting with this game?" And then I'm like, "Oh god!" And then I turned it off. I turned it back on like straight away. But I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." But yeah. Uh, so it started off with Just Dance 2019 getting a release date. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2 gameplay, Hell Jade yeah. revealed. Uh, Trials Rising <coughs> got a release date. Uh, Division 2 Raids and Endgame revealed. Skull and Bones trailer revealed. Transference release date revealed. Starlink Battle for Atlas revealed. Star Fox and Starlink crossover announced. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey got a release date. And the Crew 2 beta release date announced. Mm-hmm. So I might take the take the reins on this one Whoa. to start off. <laughs> I just had a friend who jumped on Quake Champions. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> good, good meme. Uh, so, very eh, press conference again. Uh, uh, I got like I'll start uh, off with Transference because that was like the one that I was interested in. Uh, it's one of those movie games. Uh, with elijah wood as the director uh so that's interesting because i was wondering where elijah wood had been for the past five years and now i know since he left wilfred uh, <laughs> um and that's where he's sat uh division two um yeah it's like i was keen for the first one and now it's kind of like they've soured my taste but yep. if they can kind of fix those things and i can see that it's working i might jump on but it's not one of those games that i'll be right at uh starlink again the one that we mentioned last year the amiibo yeah i can't believe it's going ahead yeah yeah i, I, I think don't it's ridiculous. think i don't think you need the the amiibo thing
things as much sell it anymore. to Nintendo. Honestly, but sell they that to a t- They basically already have. Yeah. Star Fox is in it. That was their big thing. On the Switch only, Star Fox can be played in it. Instead of releasing a new Star Fox game, they're like, nah, let's just chuck Star Fox in this game. But the toy, the toy like plug-in for game kind of died with Skylanders. And now they're that, trying to bring that, it back. No, no, that, from what I saw, they only showed one, one ship toy mm. the whole time. So you, you, you get a base toy and I think you can just build off that inside the game now. That's... I think is where they're trying to go with it. Don't even do the toy, because people yeah, then no. have to buy no. it. Because no. people then have to buy the toy. No, no, the toy comes with the game. Of which it'll be at a marked up price, I reckon. Yeah, absolutely. They'll be like, okay, instead of it being $60, we're selling it for 80 and it, Which it, is it, 120 okay. years. Hey, guys, 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 once again, it is that niche. A very niche. It, yeah. it is. It's, it's for those people who like like the Lego type of thing, where you like building things, and then you're like, I'd love to see this in a game. I'd love to buy this in a game type of thing. That's I'm, what they're kind of going for. I'm calling this the biggest flop yeah, that's going that to come out of this one. Absolutely. Oh, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the game I'm super keen for, Skull and Bones. That game looks like Sea of Thieves, but better. And what it looks like it should have been. Like, without the, <laughs> the funky art style. <laughs> it, Lock. Because it look it, it's it's single player, but can go multiplayer. That's the difference. With the, with Sea of Thieves, where it has to be multiplayer. Mm. I just feel like you're gonna get too hyped on this, like you did Sea of Thieves, and you're gonna be let down. Give it to me. I'm um, over pirate game. Yeah. <laughs> I like the game. And um, who was the sorry sod that decided in the in the Ubisoft boardroom to annualize Assassin's Creed again? He, I remember. No, like, no, 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 no. Let's, this, let's this, game, a... this game looks really good. This game, this looks, game good. looks better than the rest. It's it's an MMO. It is an MMO. Just give give me a sec. <laughs> give me a sec. Let me say, like. Sorry, that's just an RPG. It's they RPG. gave it a three year dev cycle before, and then they were like, "Let's annualize it," and now it's gonna be shit again. I can guarantee it. 100%. This one looks better than. No, RPGs. this one looks like the best one. Yeah. Me, will you has... say this? They've like RPG mechanicked it up. Yeah, it's th- like you can now if you're a female, you're allowed to play a female the whole you way can through. Whatever the fuck you want, you can. Yeah, it's you very know. Bioware-y, This one, uh, like, from like what, what I've seen, it looks quite. It, it's a cross between like Dragon Age and like the other. What was the last one called? Origins. Origins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like because it's it, the um, menus and shit all exactly the same as Origins, all like and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, from what. Bella has told me she 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 wants the game this moment. Hmm. He's like Odyssey, Odyssey, and so she's told me everything about it. So it looks, yeah, it's no, I think, me, I, I think I think this is a good one. one. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good one. It's set an interesting time period, like yeah, the character, like like talking system. It the, actually this the talking system reminded me a lot of um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, like. The way you like talked and interacted with people in the world looked very horizons, and I thought that looked really good. Um, but for me personally, I think, man, I, whatever the hell Beyond Good and Evil Two turns out to be, I hope it's good because, man, either, uh, either either make it into a TV show or like, <laughs> like I don't know. It always looks so good in the trailers. Like I'm like, man, I just want to see more of this cursing monkey. <laughs> But and then also that weird thing where Joseph Gordon Levitt came out and they're like, "Hey, you guys can make the radio stations and posters and stuff for to put around the world and collaborate together." You guys see that thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, what is Joseph Gordon Levitt doing?" <laughs> yeah, what is uh he been up to as well? Well, that's that's his thing. The company that he built. Yeah, they're the, the, the film production they're... company. Yeah, like they're, yeah, they're 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 press record. I think is what they were called. Yes. and yeah, they're like that's what he's been doing. Mm-hmm. So for this, they're now putting press record in so that fans of the series can make the radio stations and stuff like that for the game, which yeah. I guess is cool. Mm. Um, it's just weird. Yeah, <laughs> but it's cool. It's an interesting idea. Yeah. I'm just not sure how much content community. <laughs> yeah but yeah i also think like a uh, trial trial is rising like oh what a cringy way to bring it out oh yeah. no okay i agree i 100 percent agree terrible. 
that was the the guy who was doing it was terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, he was a dad, and then he brought the YouTubers on stage. Like he was a quake dad. He (laughs) was a quake dad. He was definitely a quake dad. And then he brought the YouTuber on. It's like, yeah, we were making them. We were making these levels, but they just didn't explain that. Like, I I I guarantee people were very confused why this guy was on stage. Oh, hundred percent. I had no idea who he was. Who made? Who made? Um, like like the the crazy levels and we're like okay if you can try and do this you know in like time limit blah 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 and uh, they were like really yeah. good at it the, and so like a group of them went in to help them make the levels yeah so like this is like the next version of um what's the trials fusion yeah 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 so this is like the next thing after that yeah so, it's, the, I, I, the, I, like, I, it's a good it's a good little fun little game of a group of people i think like, it could be dlc you think I don't think it is. It's, Every it's... Trials game can be DLC. <laughs> <laughs> like, it isn't, though. The thing it, is, it is. It should it's, already, be. it's already announced as a, a standalone game. You can get the gold edition right now. They'll charge $60 for something that could easily be chucked in any other Trials game as DLC. You, you do know a lot of games could just be DLC, but, you know, they're, like, making money. Yeah. Definitely not Fallout 76, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, if you want the gold, it's 60 bucks, pre-order Yikes. it, and you get a 16-page sticker art book with it. No thanks. And Stickers. access to additional motorbike, additional <laughs> motorbike tracks and more. There you go. Do they glow in the dark? God. I don't want any of it. I don't want any. If they, if they don't fucking glow in the dark, I don't want them. <laughs> let, let me have a look at that. Oh, so, so. Terrible. All right. They do not oh, glow in the dark. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> All We're right. Good. What do we give it? What do we rate Ubisoft? Um, it's like a six, you know. Six? She's it's like a six for me. Generous. Yeah. I'm giving a six and a half because I believe in Skull and Bones. Yikes! All right. <laughs> Yikes, boy. <laughs> I give it a five. Wait a minute. There's one more thing I want to talk about. Can you believe they're still supporting For Honor? How is that possible? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> I, I go on Twitter and the, there was like a couple of YouTubers like, I told you, it's a... <laughs> it should have stayed this. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. When they brought the dude, I was like, no. No, just let it die. <laughs> yeah. They're like, For Honor's getting a new season. And I'm like, yay. Dude, yeah, Johnny, yeah. Johnny, they're, they're trying to Rainbow Six Siege it. I know. And I'm like, look, that was fantastic. All right, I play that game now. That's a good game. I don't know if you could bring this one back. This one's a little too far gone, it I is think. It's dead and buried. Like, like the thing is with, with Rainbow Six, it had a basis it could work off. Yeah. Like, the, its foundations were solid and its servers wept. Mm-hmm. So, like... It just meant like putting more content in it and changing a few things. Yeah. This is like the servers never worked. <laughs> like, and like, you, if you want to play like a medieval sim, you're better off playing like literally chivalry from like six years ago. Like, hey, chivalry probably game. has more support in it than four on its own. Honestly. Definitely. So I, d- I could not believe it when they were like, next <laughs> season, four on I'm like, you're mad, man. <laughs> I reckon they've just had it sitting there in their office, like, in a file, and they're just like, shit, what are we going to do with this DLC? The, 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 they're, re- they're ready for it, and, like, they're so- everything is done, and, like, shit, what do we do? The now? only thing I can think of why it's even getting into the season is there must be a giant whale just supporting this game. There must be, like, <laughs> ten of them that are just keep buying, like, loot boxes for it, or whatever yeah. the hell it has. I, otherwise, I cannot think of any way this game has made money. <laughs> no, terrible. terrible. Anyway, oh, oh well. So I'm gonna go take this one. Take this one away. Uh, Sony. Uh, so The Last of Us Two got a gameplay trailer. Mm. Call of Duty Black Ops mm. Three free on PS Plus right now for the next month. Uh, Ghost of Sushi. Uh, sashimi. <laughs> this goes <laughs> fucking Jesus. Uh, Control, which is a new game from Remedy. Uh, Death Stranding got a trailer. Rick and Morty creators. Uh, oh. Trevor oh. saves oh. the universe. Oh. Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, has an all-in-one package. Resident Evil 2 remake. Yeah. Release date and trailer. And Spider-Man PS4 trailer hints at Sinister Sticks, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm going to take it away with this so i'm gonna be I, I forget the name of the word for the guys who 
like who hate girls but also want a girlfriend uh can't remember that word but that that's exactly the vibe that i got from all the white fucking dudes who were after they saw the oh, last of us so from, many people angry i'm like they were like what the, like, it, it, it's, what the it, fuck it, it's 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 a story and i was like and if you yeah. did you play the last of us dlc you found out she was a lesbian th five years ago <laughs> Yeah. Dude, that that was the gayest, most brutal trailer I've ever seen in my life. And like, everyone was just like, what the like, fuck? Like, 100%. <laughs> Dude, I was like, damn. I'm like, this is gay. But then I was also like, wow, she is like slicing into this man's neck, like yeah. just hacking into it. I was like, this so is smooth. the greatest trailer of all time. It was. Like, that, that was <laughs> excellent. It was like so cinematic. It's it, like the, the Yeah, feeling. the like, gameplay. I'm, I'm very interested. Like, I may not play it. I'll definitely watch play it because he mm -hmm. wants to play it. So, like, I'll see, like, how it is and, like, how, like, you know, is it just these people have crazy reactions or, like, letting it, the tension build just that little longer than needs to or, mm -hmm. like... I, I mean gay in the best way possible, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Pride, hashtag Pride Month. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but, dude... It, it, I hope to God, like, because the gameplay looked incredibly cinematic, which mm -hmm. makes me think, like, you know, something's going a little bit on there. But, like, if it if it keeps the thing of, like, you know, you actually get hit by, like, the shrapnel in you, or, like, yeah. the, the arrow mm -hmm. in you, and that stuff, like, stays in there and isn't, like, taken away, and, you know, actual momentum seemed to have played a big role yeah. in, like, getting hit and stuff. Uh -huh. Dude, that looks incredible. Yeah. I was like, this is insane. Yeah. Like, if this is real and it, like, happens every fight, it plays out this realistically. Like, that bit where she, like, looks under the car and she just smokes mm, her in yes. the head. And I'm like, yes. oh, my God. <laughs> and, like, it was just that second of her just look, being looked at. And yeah. then the shot goes off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, ho it. holy shit. This is nutty. Like, Last of Us <laughs> 1 was very good with gameplay and, like, the whole mechanic system of it but this has added so much more with like as you say the like dynamic effects of when you get hit by shit uh and like one like two my two favorite moments in the trailer was when one she was running away and she picks up the bottle as she's running past it and just fucking, oh yeah and mm. fucking hurls it at that chick's face and i'm just <laughs> like holy shit that was sick uh and then yeah. of course like the machete to the neck oh like, god and that just was... hacking at it and i was like I was watching it in the office. I decided to take my lunch break early, and like people around me are just like, "What the fuck are you watching?" And yeah, I'm just like, dude. I'm like, it was brutal. I was, yeah. but like, obviously, you, as you already know, uh, the, the people on the internet are like, "Why is it so gruesome?" And then they're like, "It's we're, we're making it this gruesome because that's what it would be like." in reality yeah. like if you hack into someone's neck it's not going to just be like generic head gets like sliced off immediately no. like of course it's going to like stick and like stay in there you're gonna have to like pull it out uh, uh, oh yeah like, it Neil, looks Neil Druckmann and the team at Naughty Dog so yeah, it looks insane and like did you even the bit where she's like that girl's dancing right yeah and she gets all sweaty and then rubs it on her face and then you could see the reflection of it yeah i was like are you kidding me what is this engine right now <laughs> actually though that's the uh the same engine is used for like a couple of sony games it's used in, yeah uh, uh what was the uh kill zone the, 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 yeah the playstation 5 engine you know mm -hmm. yeah the playstation <laughs> Anyway, that, yeah, that, I think that game looks phenomenal. Yeah. I can't wait to see why. But where is Quake Joel. Dad Joel? Where Where's is Joel? Quake Dad Joel? I don't know where he is. I hate to say it, but I reckon he dies, like, straight yeah, up. Yeah. Of course he's gonna die. But how? How will Joel <laughs> die? Where was um, Papa Joel? Where he, was he'll Troy? Get, he'll get gutted like that one dude at oh, the start. No, 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 it'll, 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 be, it'll be that Asian. You know, nah, he's a nice he's boy. Gone. He just stole his, her, his girl. He, she just stole his his girl. So he's like, nah, none of this. Nah, she, he's all right with it. You can tell. He's a nice boy. <laughs> but yeah, they'll, they'll be back together in a week. Absolutely. Super keen to see how this goes. But like the start of the Sony press conference, how they had it in the tent. 
so it was Can like it was in the game and then like and i think sony did a phenomenal job with this press conference apart from that section where everyone had to move over and have like I, 15 I, minutes of panel and, and legit wasn't needed it wasn't 15 minutes it was like 25 minutes yeah it ruined the immersion <laughs> of the press conference. You, you did not need it like just, just, yeah like sean Layden comes out does his little five minute talk they play the music with gustavo santaola they play the trailer they play more music they do ghost of sashimi uh then they show the trailer <laughs> everyone moves and then it's just back-to-back trailers for half an hour yeah, which absolutely. i thought was the sickest press conference ever if you just yeah. had that like sean was sean was great with that he was just like we're here to show you some games we want to see the future of games and that's it and that's all he said five yep. minutes and Perfect. then games Perfect. get him out of there <laughs> that <laughs> yeah i mean nothing else needs to be said what are you uh, gonna and, say and, 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 unless you are like uh very good at the talking at, like talking in front of people like and todd it, like yeah. todd yeah so like if you aren't todd just <laughs> show the trailers like, yeah absolutely and i'm i'll be honest sean had some nervous moments there like he was like oh i was like don't be nervous <laughs> he's showing some fucking great games here <laughs> And like they, they could have like they they had Neil Druckmann in the crowd and uh, Hideo Kojima, but they didn't bring oh. them out. And I was like, hey, oh, man, my boy. I was like, oh, okay, you're not going to use them, huh? I see how it is. <laughs> but yeah, no, good, good showing. Uh, Ghost of Sashimi, but Sushima, uh, also like super dark, super gritty. You, you so said that's you where interested. sucker punch has been yeah <laughs> boy not in not developing a new infamous game i see you sucker punch fuck you lads <laughs> now i looked it, the leaves and that shit looked ridiculous oh, they mm. looked so oh my god mm-hmm. the reflection through them mm-hmm. as they were falling i was like are you kidding me yeah. where are all these engines coming from all of a sudden yeah did you see, did, did you see the meme that was coming out there what was it? From like the league community. It was like, ah, oh, finally, 3D ah, league. You showed us that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Get love. And then we got a really long trailer for Death Stranding with some gameplay. Yes. Still don't yes. know yes. what the fuck is going on. Dude, I'm excited for whatever the fuck oh, that is. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for whatever I'm the fuck good. that is. I have no idea what's going on still besides the little. The um the things that seem to be invisible control time to some degree. Uh-huh. That's all I know is that those invisible things like change time. So when you get touched by them, you like age to death, yeah. which is what happened in that second one where the dude got touched and he just turned into a skeleton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what from, happened. From, from what I saw, do you know how they had? Yeah. So apparently, when they if they had that connected to them or something, from what I. Apparently, what some people worked out is, is you know how he was saying in it, if he dies, he's fine. He'll be he'll be all right. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and he got grabbed by like all of them because yeah. of that baby. He automatically reages and yeah. survives, and the baby dies, and he become and like he. I thought he. I thought the theory was that he become. Canisters. I thought the thing was that he becomes the baby, isn't it? Like, and then you oh. just like grow up. No, because uh, it, it's he like uses it, the baby it, it, life. Yeah. It's like a second oh. life. It's like weird, yeah. dude. That's but also I think I think the seeing the dark things, yeah, because yes, you like you like is. plug it into like the backpack, mm-hmm. and then that thing like goes blip 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 and like picks yeah. them up, dude. I don't know what the fuck this game is, but my god, I I'm so excited for I'm it. I'm interested to see like what it is and. <laughs> I'm not gonna play it, but yeah, I'll probably watch. Dude, pack, package it. moving simulator. Mm-hmm. You see all those boxes that dude was carrying? <laughs> Deliveroo. Yeah, Deliveroo Uber Eats simulator. Dude, dude, give him that delivery jacket. Give him the delivery jacket DLC. But the cast, the cast is insane yeah. for this game. Matt it's like Nicholson, actually. Guillermo del Toro, uh, Norman Reedus, and then those two other girls as well. I totally forgot yeah, to um, their names down. Uh, hold on, let me let me just find it here quick. Uh, what's it called? Death Stranding. Yep, mm-hmm. Death Stranding. Uh, actress. Because um, there were two of them. Two new actresses. Leia Sedox. Is that, uh-huh. I don't know how you say that. And Lindsay Wagner. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Two of his favorite actresses of all time, I think. Yeah. So it's, it's a crazy, really cast. good cast. And the motion, oh my god, like the cutscenes, yeah. holy shit. 
Yeah. It's cr- it looks so good. Like yeah. anyway, Very good. I'll uh, stop uh, sucking Kojima's uh, nuts. <laughs> wait, I, to, I, wait to play it. Yeah, absolutely. Right, next, next game. Uh, oh jeez, Rick. No, you shut up. Miss <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> no, no, control. No, you shut up. <laughs> oh, control. <laughs> yeah, it looks like um. That, didn't didn't I talk to you about this one? Is this the one that looks like Quantum um, Break? Yeah, it looks like Quantum Break, but the with... one that came out for free with Bobby from X Men. Yes. <laughs> um, That's all I know, or oh, Ice Man, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, oh, yeah. kind of strange. I mean, yeah, like when I was looking at a bunch of the effects, I was like, what are all these like diamond hexagon things going? On? I was like, wait, this looks exactly like that game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really think much of it. It just kind of felt like it was for this category. It just felt like that game. Yeah, yeah. It's just it like, like it is. Thing. It is a game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And, and, and the people who made it like, come on, man, we tried. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. trying to do something a little different, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's someone right. was just like went to sleep. What after watching or playing Quantum Break, woke up and was like, "I've got an idea for a game. It's nothing <laughs> like Quantum Break, but it's Quantum <laughs> Break." <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then Rick and Morty got a uh, no, spin-off game. Skip it. That's all uh, I'm saying. It looks. It looks it so VR. bad. It does. That's like, it. oh that's my, it. that's it. We're hey, done. We're done. Hey, it's, bad, it's bathtub, man. I'm in the bathtub, and I'm like, what the fuck is. I, I was cringing so hard at this. Like, I was like, oh, can they... Is this really the humor that the kids like these days? Look, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, I don't I don't like that show. I, I don't like, I like that. I like the show, but it's just like, why? Yeah, you, this was not good. Give us a Rick and Morty game if you're going to do something. Don't do... This was the worst trailer was... at E3, in yeah, my 100%. opinion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 has an all-in-one package, so, like all the spin-off games in one disc how like... many fucking worlds are in this game uh, yeah. probably I, like when i saw 25. the trailer like at each different conference because it was at every single conference for some reason it may well have been at bethesda's mm-hmm. and they were just like here's frozen here's a real life captain jack sparrow I look like i'm like what is going on he is tangled here's toy story here's monsters inc but where's big hero six where's my boy leon where's cloud that's all i care about i'm they so confused they survived at the end of kingdom hearts 2 get them back i'm so confused by this game. <laughs> just give me some leon give me some yuffie give me some sid give me some moogles and we good to go yes mm-hmm. yeah all right all right next uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. So Let's following go. on from the remake train uh, that Sony has been on for the past few years, RE2. Let's actually go. Fix it the, looks so fix gruesome. The camera and we're good. <laughs> what do you mean fix the camera? Had a shit camera. What do you mean third person? What are you talking about? Did you see that rat game? Crisp, crisp rat simulator <laughs> Jesus. Rat sim- that's dude, what i want for my game i want my rat simulator dude that bit where he bo- like bit off his neck though that shit was hype yeah, i was boy. like what the fuck mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not here. and then boom young boy coming through yeah he was like Whoa. in the building leon yeah young leon baby he's back absolutely back. I was and then I, actually they did i watched the 15 minute gameplay video mm-hmm. that they like put up on GameSpot. i think yeah yeah it looks good. It's yeah. been a looking real good. <laughs> it does look very good. Yeah. I'm keen. Yep. Uh, yeah, did you guys play the original Resident Evil 2? No. Yes, no, I did. Mm-hmm. I did. I died a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. Uh, and then, a game that I'm very surprised that was fucking dumb lit, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got mad well, hype Spider-Man. over that. I was like, oh. <laughs> it, actually, it actually looks good. It, it, it looks... Spider-Man d- games, like, normally, like, Spider-Man's, like, one of those superheroes that, like, a game can work around cool. quite well. Because yeah. the whole thing, like, the swinging and the web, so you can get close up and range and not yeah, feel, like, but shitty. they haven't been good yeah. for, like, oh, quite a long time yeah. since, like, Spider-Man 2, they haven't yeah. been good. <laughs> but, um, you know what? That was the last time I played a Spider-Man game. Yeah. Spider-Man but, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um... No, this looks like 
Arkham good. Yeah. Like, yeah. with the combat and everything, like, it looks like the good version of Arkham, like, yeah. style combat. Looks very so pretty, it looks... very dark as well. It's and nice. fluid. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. fluid, too. Yeah. Like, that, yeah. that aerial combo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you were losing it. I that. was. <laughs> but yeah, oh, it looks boy. like looks like the movement's fluid too. I think I think finally Spider-Man fans will actually get a game that they won't want to sigh over. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> as long as the story is not trash. Mm -hmm. It it it's got a good good villain lineup too. Yeah. Like it's got Rhino. It's got it's got the classic yeah. actually. Like it's got the it's got like the proper classics in there. Mm -hmm. Just give me fucking Sandman and we'll make it a deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is one they don't know yet. The guy who's leading them all. Yeah, boy. Mm. <laughs> 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 but I think it's a good mix, and I think this is like where Holt Sony holding onto the Spider Man license has actually come in like clutch for them. Yeah. Because yeah, like they've just gone, oh, hold on to that Spider Man license and make a no. really good game with it. <laughs> And then they're like, wait a minute, we have that one really good development studio. <laughs> that isn't Put being them on used. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give them the last of Ascension. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. All right. but... what, what, what do we think about Sony's press conference? It's I... like a... It's like an eight. I give it an eight, eight because uh, if they hadn't done that moving like moving between the two sections and having that panel which was just made up of like randoms i had no idea who the people on that panel were give me a panel with norman Reedus, sean Layden, uh hideo kojima you know just give me a panel with some good big names on it don't give me a panel of random people who are, are forum members don't don't give me a Rick and Morty game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give it like a. I'll give it a five, six. I'll give it a six. A six? <laughs> For the game. I don't, give a shit. I don't give a shit about. I'm talking just straight the game. Oh. You yeah, it. remember, he doesn't he doesn't care about Death Stranding. So. Uh, true. Yeah. So, what's the yeah. one game you're actually hyped for on there? Me? What's, oh, yeah. What are your games that you're hyped for? I'm, I'm interested in. I'm, I am interested in Last of Us too, okay. Because from from my film background, that's a very interesting thing. I, I, as much as it's at the at start, I didn't really wasn't really hyped for Spider Man, but I think I'm gonna be really interested in that. Okay. And yeah, like just those two by itself is like good to go. Okay. Death Stranding. Yeah. Next yeah, I, like I'm interested in Death Stranding. I'm not gonna play it. I just think there's a way to not be interested in it because it's so fucking weird yeah. that like you have to be like, all right, you can either you can like ignore it, but you still like you still like, all right, what the fuck is that game? You 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 literally ignore it for the fact you're like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I'm excited to see whatever the hell that thing is and Last of Us probably. Yeah. I'm hyped for everything um, except Rick and Morty and Control. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Oh, Alex. Mm. You go. You forgot the Volvo Digital's conference. Next question. <laughs> no, no. There's actually one game in that. Would actually. There's be one cool. amazing game in that. My friend, re my friend. <laughs> yes. Actually, yes. that's too bad. It the other two. Okay, the other okay. Two, we'll yeah. just talk about that one game then. <laughs> what do you mean? We, we, we got a robot game, and we got a uh, a better. Oh. Dude, <laughs> my boy Pedro. That shit looks amazing. The dude threw a frying pan up, shot at it, and was killing men with a frying pan. What's the game called? My friend Pedro. My friend Pedro. Dude, it looks amazing. And that, and it, it looks <laughs> interesting. Like, their press conference, I was like, what the hell is going on? I yeah, they always it. do that. They mm. always do that, though. I, like, I, I, it was, I thought it was... Like, I didn't like it. I did not they, like they, it. They do it as a satire. Of yeah, I know it's a satire, but I don't like it. Interesting. Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm just excited for that game. <laughs> the, the, the scum. Uh, it was like we're, we're, we're this a new battle royal scum, and then it was like we got robots, we got this, we got that. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm not interested at all. And then there was the Metal Wolf uh, Chaos game. I was like, okay, so we're, we're robots like controlling America. I thought it was like a mobile game, mm. but apparently mm. it's not. Like. The graphics looked bad. Okay. From what I saw. Oh, yeah. Like, they looked like PS3. 
by graphics. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They do. They look terrible. And then at the end, it's like, Mech, uh, Mech America Great Again. I'm like, oh my god. Oh yeah, Mech America Great Again. <laughs> yeah, some good one. Yeah, but the Pedro game, yeah, that, that, I think that's the only good thing about that. Overall, I'll give it. I'll give it a one and a half for Pedro. Okay, dude, I'll give it a nine for Pedro. God bless that game. Uh, are we just rating that one game? Or oh, the if whole we just rating the one game, I'll give. I'll give it a seven. Hell yeah! Oh, wow. If we're rating the pre if we're rating the press conference, I'll give it a one, <laughs> maybe one and a half. All right, I didn't see it, so I no rating from me. Uh, Ooh, next, not applicable. Next up, we've got a uh, Nintendo. We've oh, got Demon oh. X. Machina trailer revealed. Fortnite is out on the Switch. Pokemon Let's Go Mew reveal. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC revealed. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate roster announced. Let me smash. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, it's just called Pokemon Bro. That's uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a Super Mario Party mm -hmm. coming to Switch. Nintendo Switch GameCube adapter revealed. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate release date announced, and Ridley announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, Super Smash Bros. The com Conference. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, it went it, forever. It, it, because they said they were never going to make another Super Smash. The, the, and then they're like, okay, we're going to make another yeah, That's what all people this, who make money want to say. Yeah. No, this, this will probably be the last Smash, though. Oh, no, from, yeah. No, from Old Mate, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, unless there's going to be a new console. Maybe for the next like Nintendo console, but this would probably be the last one. This is a money-making machine, because Nintendo have five IPs. This is the one where they can bring them all together. I mean, yeah. nah, you could, you could make, yeah. like... I think you could do, honestly, like, you'd call it Mario, but then you'd be like, Worlds Collide, and then you have all your other <laughs> come in, just yeah. like Final Fantasy. It's, I mean, with um, not Super Kingdom Smash. Hearts. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's not Mario Super Worlds Smash. Collide. Mario Collide, that's what they call it. The Great Collision. There we go. <laughs> well, what um, do you guys think about this? Uh, so, from because I'm the Nintendo boy here, I guess. Uh -huh. um, I actually think uh, Super um, so Mario Party, the new Mario Party. Uh -huh. um, I didn't even think about that. I'm like, oh, we have not had a Mario Party game in so long. Yeah. Um, it is a on. You can play this game online with friends. Mm -hmm. Mario Party. So that's the first time they're doing this. So I think that's really cool. Yeah. Um, local co-op. Looks like a lot of fun mini games. I, I saw that um, they did with the two it, screens. Yeah, like, they said that two what, screens. So you what can. Was that? If you have, was weird. If multiple people have the games, um, I assume um, so for the mini games and things to make them bigger or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what they um, said. You can link up the two screens if you're out and about. But in the game, I assume it's going to be like, okay, um, go across one screen to the other where you want it to connect. So you go from one screen, yep. the edge of it, to the, the start of the other one, and they'll connect up. Yeah, so, it was interesting. Can see so it like being a little bit disorienting. I, I, I probably would, I, I'll never use it, even though I have other friends who have a Switch. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool gimmick. But yeah, I think that game's going to be fun. I'll get it. Um, Super Smash Bros, of course. Like, come on. We've been waiting for a new one for a while. Yeah. Um, every every single character besides Waluigi. Shafted. Shafted. Every character is like, and they're like, everyone is in this, and then we're like, where's Waluigi? Not in it. Shafted. I'll, yeah. I'm mad. Good memes. Good, me good good memes have come from it. Yeah. Um, Fortnite and Switch money. Mm -hmm. Apparently though, uh, because of PlayStation, if you try to play your Use your bat. Uh, what's it called? What's the Epic Games? Uh, yeah. Your Epic Games account on the PlayStation. You cannot use the same account on the Switch, and a lot of people are really angry about that. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, the, the, there's a, like they think there's a way around it, which is up on your PC first, then go to Switch. Mm. <laughs> like there might be a way around it, but like still, it's like some yeah. people don't just don't have it on their PC. Why you know is I mean? Sony like so against crossplay? That's my one thing. Like, uh, I don't get it. They want to. The, they want to be their own thing. Yeah. Because they um, don't want to work with anyone else. What else? What else? Uh, then we have yeah, P uh, Pokemon Let's Go. So they revealed like inside the Pokeball. So you're basically paying uh, forty bucks for a Mew, which is <laughs> ridiculous. Well, or, or if you want to use that control, not pay to win. Pay to win. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so not, not, not really. Not pay to win. 
Um, and then afterwards, after that, they I actually watched an hour long uh, gameplay with the creator. Uh-huh. Um, what was look it was pretty cool. Like he talked about it, he explained how everything worked. Yeah. Um, so like, and they do have the battle system. Yeah. So I'll I'll talk about it all from what from what I watched. It was like so they started in Viridian Forest. Yeah. And so like you know where that is like right after like you. Um, you get your Pokemon to go up and then very yeah. fast and the next one's a Pewter City where Brock is. Yep. So they're walking through there and how it is, is in the grass you actually see the Pokemon. Like, mm. you, you can choose what you want to fight. What I thought was super cool. Like, normally you, you'd just be running in the grass hoping for something to appear. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I wonder if there's going to they're going to be like anything special if you're going to walk around. And then I like, in that area, I saw Oddishes. You normally don't see Oddishes there. You saw Butterfreeze. You saw Pidgeys flying around. You have to try and dodge and move around them and stuff like that. But you could also just walk in the grass and just RNG it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there was stuff there. And it was the same concept with uh, Pokemon Go on your phone. Yep. But with the Joy-Con, you would flick it. Um, and it's and all you have to do, like a side slot, swipe. You can do like a curve. You can do all these weird things because they move and whatnot yeah um the berry system still in there from pokemon go so like to make them weaker mm-hmm. um and they were talking about how the whole thing was cp in pokemon go and then levels it's basically like their stats is stats is the cp and then they also have like proper level like in pokemon and like when you catch a pokemon all your pokemon get xp mm. Is and um the whole thing of like how they're small and big like pokemon go that's in there um, and then every single Pokemon you can actually ride or have behind you. Yeah, you so have like Eevee cool. or you have Eevee or Pikachu like on you, but then you have like a partner Pokemon behind you, kind of like Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Mm. But if they're really really big, like an Onix, you can ride on them and so on. Yeah, because they they showed that. Um, or some other thing. I do like that the partner Pokemon. That was one of the things that I wish they had in the earlier games, like in <laughs> uh, Yellow where you had the Pikachu behind you, I was always yeah. like, oh, well, why can't any of my other, like, mains follow me? Yeah. So they, they're going with that. And then the other thing from, from what I remember is, um, so, like, another person can just join you at any time. They just pick up the other Joy-Con and then just shake it or something, and the second person comes in. Yeah. And then, like, in the battles, like, you can do a normal Pokemon battle, like, just fighting one-on-one, or it's basically a two-on-one if another person joined you. So I feel like it's a little cheap. Mm. but yeah it's there's still the whole battling system it's not exactly same as red and blue and all them there's different rival i think his name was chase from what i remember um yeah and uh like all the npcs in the world you can actually interact with this time and like some of what will get it's like kind of like uh rpg element with like oh from what they showed there was like a slow poke and there was a woman who's like i I need to go to the shops, but my slowpoke won't move. Can you look after him? And you legit just sit there for like two minutes while she goes to the shop, <laughs> and you play with the slowpoke. Yeah, like that—that's the type of thing. So I think it's—it it, it has, from what I like, originally saw. I'm like, okay, this interesting, cool gimmick. But I think it's going to be a good game. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's only a side game. They've they already said they're going to do next year, next year, and this yeah. is just, yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Then, through that and then smash bros really yeah yeah and then uh xenobay chronicles the dlc for that cool um and is that was that all there was yeah i think so yeah so what are you what are you most excited for smash smash I've, i haven't played a smash game in ages i wonder if the competitive so, scene picks up again i reckon it will yeah the Switch is so, you know, like, you can just take it around with you that it's so easily accessible. I feel it's more accessible. Yeah. Especially now they're bringing back, like, you can also connect the GameCube controls because that's what everyone likes playing Smash with. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I like the idea of Pokemon Let's Go, but I don't like the idea of the the ball. I don't see the purpose in it, really. It's uh, it's, 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 a gim- it's a gimmick controller that you can use. I feel like with that ball, get rid of it. And you remember the uh, like the wristwatch thing that they had for Pokemon, Pokemon Go? Go? They still have it. Let, I that, saw let that work with the with this game. 
and yeah, if, but if they already own that, money. give them you because like for the, it's, I, it's I, more money. It, it, it's a thing. Yeah. It's like uh, what came with like gold and soul silver. You had a Pokemon you can walk around with you, hmm. and like it's kind of like a Tamagotchi type of thing. I feel like this was money grab, it, the, 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 like it, a little bit, a little bit. And but it's like, it's a cool thing. Like it's it's a controller with a Pokeball. Yeah, it's interesting. Hmm. Jordy, what, do what do you think, Jordy? What do you, what do you think? Uh, give me that Daemon X Machina. That shit looks so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It looked like, uh, like just Gundams fucking going at it against really big <laughs> Gundams. I liked it. I thought it looked cool. Interesting. Yep, that'd be my pick. So what do we rate right. this press conference, Braden? Take it away. Um, I was quite... I'll, I'll, I'll give it like a six and a half, seven. Six? Seven? Okay. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a five. I'm indifferent. I'm a 5 too. Yeah. Because they weren't like major game announcements. Like, uh, like they had the two, like, Pokemon. Uh, Let's go. There, there was one other game. Sweet. Um, 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 Fire Emblem. There was a Fire Emblem game as well. Oh, oh. I did see that one. That it one was. was that actually looked really good. And I haven't played a Fire Emblem game in years. And I will probably get that. Like, it actually looked really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Let's go was... to, uh,. Oh, no. Did you want to say no, something? No, no, no. That's okay. All right. Uh, no, because I was like, I knew there was something else on the list. Yeah. That... Boys, I got some breaking news. Mm -hmm. The Culling 2 coming to you soon. The sequel to The Culling. Uh, okay, so Square Enix. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Braden. I like that. Uh, so Shadow of the Tomb Raider gets a gameplay trailer. Dragon Quest Eleven trailer. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Uh, Just Cause 4 gets a gameplay trailer. Babylon's Fall, uh, which is a new Platinum game, gets a trailer. Uh, new Octopath Traveler trailer. Uh, and Final Fantasy 14 and Monster Hunter World crossover. Oh, there was also Monster Hunter uh, Ultimate for the Switch. Mm. Oh, yeah. yes. Very and cool. oh, and then that big DLC for the Donkey Kong in, in uh, Mario uh Rabbit. Oh, Rabbit mario rabbits well. yes yeah and yeah so they're, they're, they're doing things with that game what is nice mm. no, actually that wasn't even showed in nintendo that was showed in um uh, ubisoft was it oh true. yeah, that, yeah. That was, that, the they did the whole thing, thing with the, the people the musicians came out and they played the music mm -hmm. and everything for yep. it a like, apparently it's very long too yeah i'm um, like that's the type of game it's kind of uh that needs dlc because I got through the game pretty quick, mm. to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, I enjoyed it, so I'm happy. Mm. So, yeah, okay. so what are we keen for from Square? Yeah. Um, Just Cause oh. 4, uh, kind of, I guess we mentioned that last podcast with the Walmart announcement. Oh, that that was the, <laughs> that, that was the thing started, from, from uh, Todd Howard, too. He's like, from our good friends at Walmart Canada. Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was that was Uncle Pete. Oh, that was Pete? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna release this. Someone guess... can't keep a secret. Um well I'm keen for um the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, so that follows on from well it's a spin off story from the Life is Strange world. So and it's free and it comes out in I think eleven days. So mm -hmm. keen for that. I like free free things. Give me that platinum trophy with it too. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, um, yeah and Kingdom Hearts three, come on, come on, Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, this yeah. is where we can officially talk about it properly. Like, yeah, I it, it it's gonna be good. It comes out a day before my birthday. I'm How keen. exciting! Yeah, he. That's perfect for our for our birthday, Brayden. It's, it's perfect for our birthdays, a week apart. Mm -hmm. Don't you guys like? I don't know, want to like stab yourself in the jugular when they hear the voice actors though? No. Really? Well, we're right. used to it. Yeah. We played the game. We're literally we, grown we, up we with this. We actually played the game last year. We finished both the games. One and two. Four. And we, some we played spin through them together. Yeah. So now we're. To get ready. We did. Yeah. We now know the backstory. Because uh... we had actually never finished two. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So now, now we know what's uh what's happened what's going down uh i like the oh, the female riku female <laughs> riku and uh and uh who's the chick from the spin-off is in there why is she there 
Oh, the one with like that weird like curly hair, the point up hair. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. the silver hair chick as well. She's one from the uh, Roxas's, not Roxas. Who's not Roxas? Not Sora. What's the other kid? <laughs> Ky- 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 Kyrie. No, 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 no. Oh, I... There's no. There's another LeBron? kid. There's another LeBron? kid. <laughs> there's another kid who looks. Jamal Cousins. Hang on. King Jamal, of... Jamal. <laughs> Jamal. 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 Captain Sparkles. Hang on. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Um, yeah, you have uh, a look. Uh, uh, the final Final Fantasy fourteen like Monster Hunter crossover it seemed it's uh, that's a weird niche, but I don't know if I like it. It, it looked weird. Mm. What was it called? Do you remember what it was called? Neg. Jordy. What? The crossover game from Square Enix between Monster Hunter and Final Fantasy. Wasn't it literally like Monster Hunter X Final Fantasy? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, I don't know. That, the Birth by Sleep guy. What's his name? Terra. Terra. It's the chick from Terra's world. Oh. Hang on. Look up Terra and it looks just like Roxas and Sora. I'm, I'm looking up the name of this game because you didn't. Oh, true. <laughs> What's her name? All right, Jody, you talk about a game you you, you like from this list. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, <laughs> probably just cause four. I don't really give a fuck about any of the other ones. Yeah, you're not really a, a, a screen mixed up a man. Aqua. Uh, That's her no. name. Necessarily, nah. Unless they put out uh, Kane and Lynch three, then mm-hmm. I'm all aboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, was it the Quiet Man? Was that what the game was called? Yes, give me the Quiet Man. So you you came for the Quiet Man? Absolutely. It was just a dude who was like pointed to his ear, and they're like, "Huh? You can't hear chump." And then he beat the shit out of him and put a doggy bag on the man's head. I looked yeah, up the Quiet it's, Man. It's, it's, it's a movie from 1952. Yeah, typing game. <laughs> I, um, it, it's published by Final Fa- the Final Fantasy people. <laughs> ah, interesting. Yes. Oh, it's uh, it's basically like DLC for. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen is what that game is. It is actually this Final Fantasy fourteen DLC. Mm. They don't have enough of that already. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Just like the, Assassin's Day. Yeah, it's Final Fantasy fourteen DLC what has Monster Hunter stuff in it, basically. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um that's like one of the only Final Fantasy games I never really got into, like so yeah. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't show anything on Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, like the 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 remake. To be honest, because hmm. that's going to be their next big uh, money maker. But I think they're so focused on Kingdom Hearts right now that yep. they're like, okay, we can be quiet about this one and just focused on uh, Kingdom Hearts, and then everyone's going to forget about this, and then we're going to say it again, and everyone's going to get real excited again. Yep. Just chucking a link in the chat that shows you Terra, Roxas, and Sora. Surprisingly, three different people. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. And Aqua's the chick in the top right. So she was in the trailer as well, which is interesting. Yes, she was. But I, everyone um, was like, oh my god, it's female Riku. But female Riku it, was different. It's Aqua and female Riku. You're yep. special. Yeah. All right, um... Uh, what do we? What, they, what else are we? The other for? game is the other game was um, Dragon Quest. It's, it's another Dragon Quest game. It's mm. kind of like a cross between uh, Fire Emblem and uh, what's the other one? Inquest. The only time, Brad, I, yeah. I remember you're like you're not really a Square Enix man. I am, but only when they have Deus Ex at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> fair, 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 fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love me some Deus Ex, but unfortunately, I don't think we've seen Adam Jensen for a while. Yeah, a lot, right, of, I'm, a lot I'm, of guys around the office are keen for the uh, keen I'm, on a. I'm quite sick of the sh- uh, Shadow um, 
Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. I keep seeing that. And every fucking time I wanted to watch one of the games mm -hmm. that appeared beforehand, I'm like, I don't care about this game. I actually don't care about this game. They're trying to it push was, it, Brayden. It's one of those games. I just, it's just there. Yeah. It's a game. It's just there. It's it's like all the other ones. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Just give me a game I want to see. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well. Um, like, what, what do we give it? Uh, two. Four. Six for Final Fantasy. <laughs> okay. Very good. So, I guess, like, from the announcements we saw from the Walmart thing, like, a bunch of them were real. Borderlands Worlds we haven't seen. Uh, I was no real No Splinter Cell game. And no... Uh, what was the, the other one we were expecting? The, the, there, was, there was a chance why I thought that the Borderlands thing was going to come out. Yeah. Because they're like, um, we have a old game and we're putting a new twist on it now. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, this could be it. And it just wasn't. I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. So what, right. do, what do we think about this E3 and who wins? Better than last year. <laughs> better, than, better than last year. Definitely yeah. better than last year. Definitely. Um, it's a, for for me. It's a tie between I think Bethesda and Sony. Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling the exact same way. Like I th I feel like Bethesda ruined it because of cringe. We, Sony we, ruined we, it because we, of they changing we, we room. Gave, we gave Bethesda. I I did. The, the map we gave, gave Bethesda two more than we gave Sony. Oh, there Point. you go. There you go. And that's rare that we see like a publisher come away with, or a publisher developer come away with. Uh, like there, there was good. I, I think everything besides Rage Two. Yeah. That it was good. Mm -hmm. Good there, and they shut people up. They they chucked in humor. They they did everything. They yeah. did everything right for a conference. They yep. did everything right. They did. Sit on the whole other hand of Sony, where they, uh, hmm. said, okay, cool, this watch our games, and then, then there was the other side where they tried to, you know, do the okay. whole show. Yeah. Okay, but how about the game we think that is probably going to be the biggest flop, and then how about the one that we want the most? Biggest oh, flop is definitely flop. that ship game. Uh, Starlink for biggest flop. Starlink, yeah. <laughs> Starlink uh -huh. biggest flop. Let, let, let me think of like uh, an out there flop. Uh, and one I'm most excited for. I'm gonna say the Rick and Morty game would be the biggest. Flop. That was my second backup. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going with that one, dude. Oh, um, and then yeah, what am I most excited for? Alex, what, what's yours? I have a top three. It's Last okay, of Us Two, top... Cyberpunk yeah, 2077, three. and Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. Three. Okay, Joey. Mine's. Death Stranding, Fallout 76, and probably Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Mine has to be Just Dance 16, you know, Trails, Trails Rising. No. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> uh, Fallout 76. That um, is surprising. That is surprising. <laughs> I'm actually really keen for it. You hopped it up too much for me. <laughs> I, I like Fallout. You um, just never finished one you know that you do right. you finished Zelda. I, i'm slowly finishing games yes yeah, so. um right, skull and bone oh my god <laughs> and smash game smash bros smash smash uh, but I'll, I'll i'll probably sub out skull and bones if i if i'm not being so like crazy about it for uh kingdom hearts yeah most likely kingdom hearts skull and with four it's good yeah. skull and bones is four it's a, it's, a, it's like a three and a half yeah very good that's a good mix so if you yeah. if you guys like see that they delayed again will you like just off yourselves or what no oh okay no nah, wait they, they, they've already announced it i'm like most of the games i i go i, I like I, i'm in for yeah normally normally don't get delayed the only the but besides uh south park, south park. that that mm. was that was a little annoying but like I, I'm not gonna offer myself for anything like that. I'm like, okay, I'll <laughs> I'm go me play metaphorically. Not I, I know. Um, I'll just go play another game. You know it's the okay. surprising omission from this uh press from this E3. Mm -hmm. Red Dead. Let's go. Not shown at any conferences. <laughs> it doesn't need to be. You'd think it would be. I like feel it. like I feel like Rockstar doesn't give a fuck anymore what any like publishers want. I bet they all went to them and they were like, "No, 
fuck you. We just put out the trailers mm-hmm. like we did last time for GTA Five. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like Rockstar is in like their own little world, man. Like yeah. they don't really play by the the necessary rules that kind of drive the rest of the industry. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the, the, this door Blizzard have your own uh, have your own what's his face? Yeah, launch conference. Everyone, yeah, everyone does their own. Your own at the moment. Your yeah. own con. Yeah, have your own con and just release your games there. Mm-hmm. Sony con, release all your games Sony there. Sony con, like, Tana I mean, Mojo do, con. They... <laughs> Tana Mojo con. I would. <laughs> what, what's what's the honey one? The honey. Honey. There's one. For the bachelors who like anime, mm-hmm. yeah, honey popcorn. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we call that popcorn. Where we come from? <laughs> where we come from? Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh yeah, and then the, and then the backslide hype is uh, jump force. <laughs> the back backslide. Backslide, backslide hype. When I mean, you backslide. Backslide tips, right tips into the fedora, my lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Double fedora, my lady. <laughs> and, okay, if I was to pick two more, I think that would fall over and die. Now that I'm thinking about them really hard, Overkill's The Walking Dead and oh. Rage 2. Honestly. Rage 2! Goddamn. All right. Uh, well, what do, can I get a closing statement, Jordy? Um, Ooblets is a fun word to say, but I don't think it'll be a fun game. <laughs> the, the weirdest book. <laughs> Braden, closing statement. I'm gonna give satis- go. <laughs> Wait, what are you gonna give a go? Satisfactory. Satisfactory. I think that game yeah, will be yes. satisfactory at best. I agree. Wow. <laughs> wow, Luigi. Sick pun. Uh, and my closing statement is. He hasn't even thought of one. Listen, he, wants King, he wants Kingdom Hearts. Fringe Fest 2018. That's a wrap. <laughs> Three hearts makes the heart go fonder. <laughs> what? See you later. See, See you later. later.